Hi, this is AAP.net course MVC Learn and Practice course. Today in this video, I will guide you how to work with the view and layout. Okay, let's get started. In the previous lesson, I already guide you how to create a view in our project. And so now, let me run it again. I want to see this one in the browser. And then when we see the content on the browser, we will try to do some the customization for our layout. And I go to the news controller. The action will be index. So this index file, you can see we have hello world message and also some other Paragraph message is this is for testing only and thank you. Let me come back to Visual Studio. And you see here in this index file, we have the header body. Let me try to do some modification here to add some more header footer for this view. And I will add the content inside the body. I will be using the div. And I will have the menu, home, product, news, about. In this video, I just want to enter some text here, just for some demonstration. For the div, I will add some class here, style. I will add style in line, background color, will be in gray, gray color, and party, it will be 10 pixels. I will do the same thing for the hello one and the text in paragraph. I will make it inside the main body. The last one will be the footer, copyright by GNV8. I will also have styling here, background color. It will be in the dark cyan, okay. And body will be also 10 picture. Let me open the browser again, refresh this one. And you see that for now we have the menu header and also footer have been added into this index file. And basically the header and footer will be using for every page in our project. That means when I click on the home page, we also use the header and footer. The so same thing for other page like product, news, and about it. If we put the code inside this view, that means when we create a new views for other pages like product, news, and about, we have to duplicate this line of code inside the view. So to prevent some of the duplication in the next time, we should have a master layout. When we create a master layout, it will be reviewable in the next time when you want to create any views for other pieces in your system. So now, let's go ahead to create a master layout for our project. You navigate to the solution explorer and then go to the self folder. In the self folder, you see that we have layout underscore layout.cshtml file. This one is the full layout of our project. Okay, let me close this one. And then I will create a new layout for our project by myself. Just go ahead to click on, right click on the self folder and select add button, click on view. In the add new item here, you select a razor view and then click on add button. 
on this pop-up, you have to provide the name for the layout. I will use the same format for the layout. It should be start with the prefix e underscore, and then I will name it my that layout. Yeah, and then click on add button to perform the action for adding new view. This is the default template generated for a new views in our project. Let's go ahead to delete this one. And then I will come back to index.cshtml file. And then I will go ahead to copy all of the content inside this index. Copy it and back to the my test layer template layer. And here, because I want to have the header, the menus, the footer will be reusable for other places in our system. So I will keep everything by default here. Just go ahead to delete the content in the main body. Hello one, and this is for testing only. Let me delete this one. And I want everything inside the main body here with me dynamically ready. Yeah. So that means when we create a new space, the content inside the main div here will be dy dynamically rendering. So in order to make the content inside this main div here in auto rendering, we have to add some C sub code. A render body. Okay. And then I will come back to the index. I will delete this one. Set it up. When I delete this one, and then I will come back to the browser. In the browser, let me try to refresh this one first. And you see that after I refresh, the content on this page will be disappear because the view in the Visual Studio it is blind. We don't have any content on this page. Let me come back to the Visual Studio again, and then I will paste the content for the message. Hello, one, and this is for testing only. Thank you, message. Let me back to the browser and refresh this one. You see, we can see the hello world message and also the message underneath of hello world in the other paragraph. However, we cannot see the header and footer in the master layout. So how to make it display in on this page? Come back to Visual Studio. And you see the code here. It indicates that the layer for now is noon. We have to provide the name of our new layout here. Let me delete the noon. And then I will provide the name for my layout. It will be the my test layer here. Let me just copy this, add it here, and save it up. And then come back again to the browser to see the render layer. Refresh this again. You can see the menus, header, and footer, which will be placed in the my test layer templates for now. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you. Let's have some time to break and we will continue to work on the layout in the next lesson. Thank you.